In this topic, you will learn about 1. The lymphatic system and its importance and 2. The lymph nodes and its functions. The lymphatic system is an extensive drainage network that helps to keep the body fluid levels in balance and defends the body against infections. It is a network of lymphatic vessels. A closer look at the lymphatic system shows the lymph vessels along with the arteries and the cells. If we take a look inside the lymph vessel, we can see that it carries the lymph, a clear watery fluid that contains protein molecules, salts, glucose, urea and other substances throughout the body. Why is the lymphatic system necessary? Water, proteins and other substances continuously leak out of a tiny blood capillary into the surrounding body tissues. The lymphatic system's main job is to collect this water and the protein from the body tissues. If the lymphatic system does not drain the excessive fluid from the tissues, the fluid collects in the tissues and causes edema. Now, let us take a look at the swollen part of a lymph vessel. This is called a lymph node. If we look inside the lymph node, we can see the number of lymphocytes scattered on the surface. The lymphocytes can identify the bacteria and engulf them. Also, when a bacterium hits against a lymphocyte, it is activated and starts releasing antibodies. These antibodies then surround the bacterium and do not allow it to move away. Finally, the cell moves towards this caught-up bacterium and then engulfs it. Thus, it removes bacteria from the lymph. These lymph vessels finally are seen attached to the vein where they drain all their contents into the vein. Lymphatic system has a network of lymphatic vessels carrying lymph. Lymph, a clear watery fluid with protein molecules, salts, glucose, urea, etc. The function of lymph is to collect water and proteins from body tissues. Oedema or swelling is caused if tissue fluid is not drained properly by lymph. Lymph vessels are attached to the vein where they drain all their contents. The lymphatic system is important as it carries minerals, protein molecules and glucose around your body. Do plants also have such a system? How do they get water and minerals from their surroundings?